Good morning, fam. I'm heading to Charleston, South Carolina to talk to the uh, senior dental students about associateships, how to manage your finances in your practice, and also how to uh, navigate through all the terms, also in terms of private practice and dentistry. So thank the ADA for this wonderful opportunity to be able to speak to these bright and students that's coming out. And uh, hopefully they will learn a lot from what I got to offer. So we'll see you guys in Charleston. Hey, this is the guy you want to borrow money from right here. <laughs> and you don't have to worry about paying it back. Anybody else? We'll, we'll, we'll have them. S same thing? Awesome. Cool. What what branch? You guys going in? Air Force. Air Force? Army. Army. Okay, cool. Anybody heard of you heard of Fort Benning? Fort Benning? I'm from Columbus, Georgia, so that's right there. So um, so anyway, let's talk a little bit about <clears throat> finding a job. So so there's different younger dentists that's coming out and keep me fresh and keep me on top of my game. So I'm able to do that. Now, I only volunteer, um, I only teach um, once a month at a um, at a clinic, at a nonprofit clinic in Atlanta. I teach the dental students there, but I do lectures all over and it's just, it's just fun for me to do that. So, um, you know, I, I know right now you're probably thinking, I just want to get out of dental school. I don't want to deal with that. And I'm saying the same thing. But you know, later on, you never know, and you'll be making a difference in the next generation of dentists. So, um, as a teacher, you can develop and nurture the next generation of dentists, like I just mentioned. Um, you can work at a university or specialized center of health and research, such as the National Health Project. They were, I mean, it was they were struggling out there. A lot of them, everybody wanted to go to the military all of a sudden, and there was such a backlog that they couldn't get in. I've never heard of the military trained dentists now because usually they're begging. But, you know, it was a time where they, they said, we have too many. And, you know, and some of the dentists actually had to um, go back and work for the dentists that, the young dentists that they sold their practice to. I mean, it was, it was kind of rough. And it's getting a little bit better, but dentistry still have not really climbed out of the um, recession, so to speak, that we were in 2008. So, um, so that's why you know a lot of them tried to go and do the military, and they would say, "Hey, we're we're full." Um, so those are some um, career options. Uh, keep in mind there will be flexibility over the course of your career, the movement between fields. And Adia um, has a nice overview of dental careers on their website, and you can find that at, at, at the ada.org as well. What about finding the right fit? Uh, no matter what career path you take, I get in. Fine. And at one shot, at one school, I got in. And now I love what I do. Like I said, I write articles and I end up coming towards certified and all the other kind of stuff. So you just never know where your path is gonna is gonna take you. Um, and and I love being an endodontist. So you know my story is is unique in the fact that I did not want to go back to school. I wanted to do general dentistry and have fun doing it, but situation and things changed. Now I'm happy to be where I am now. I never think I'll be doing this, taking my Friday afternoon off. I got two little babies at home, my babies nine and 10. They said, Dad, where are you going? I said, I'm going to pour into the life of the next generation of dental students. It's like, Dad, it's Friday. Like, that's our time, because I only work Monday through Thursday. But this is so important to me to come back and share with you guys about my personal past and how you guys are end up going to be very great dentists and specialists. So I'm going to move on about the CV. The rest.